In this video, I'm going to talk about Entity Relation Diagram Creator, one of the tools available within the XRM toolbox. Entity Relation Diagram Creator is developed by Basman Desant. What it does is it creates a graphical diagram of entity relation diagrams in any of the CRM solution. So it has an option to ability to load the solutions or the tables. Uh, once you select the specific tables, then you can actually generate the ER diagram. Now the ER diagram can be a compressed diagram or it is an expanded diagram with all the fields or relevant fields or key fields. Uh, once you're done with it, you can save the diagram as an ERD files. You can also open all the ERD files, which has been already built using some different tools in this particular application. There is an option to export the diagram to draw.io file as well. Addition to that, you can take the screenshot of ER diagram. You can configure details of what to display in the ER diagram. So as I mentioned to you, you can restrict showing all the fields. You can show only the key fields or you just don't show any of the fields. So uh, <clears throat> the tool looks something like this. So it allows you to generate an ER diagram. So this is a useful tool uh, from an architect perspective. Like if you want to understand how your solutions are placed in terms of tabular information, like how many tables exist, what kind of relationship exists between those tables, like the primary key, foreign key, it will be useful for uh, understanding the data flow within your system, how the data are structured from a schematic perspective. Now, uh, sometimes your schema may get very complicated. So if you have a very complex schema, then uh, you, you might find that uh, you will have, you will be having say 20, 30 tables within your application. And then uh, all those flows uh, in terms of primary key and foreign key, those cascading kind of a relationship uh, will be visible uh, using that, uh, say, visual interface. So let's jump into the demo. So first, uh, let's go into uh, the XRM toolbox. Now here in XRM tool toolbox, I've searched for entity relation diagram. So entity relation diagram is selected. Let me install this application. So the installation is succeeded. So let me open the application. So if I just type entity, then I should be able to find that entity relation diagram creator. So if I click here, this one, here it will give you a nice introduction about how this uh, application is utilized. You can also click on this button over here just to say if you don't want to show this message anymore. So it basically gives you a basic uh, help guide on how to view the diagram. So first step is to uh, look into the solutions, what you have within your environment. Second is you can specify how you generate the diagram by specifying the fields, and then you can generate the diagram. Once the configuration is set, what you can do here, you can uh, use the blue markers to move entity relation to make it nicer. Uh, then you can drag the entities to the desired location. So it's like drag and drop. Use the collapse or expand button to collapse or expand the entities to hide or show entity fields. Use the left mouse button to select the objects when clicking a relationship. Use the right mouse button to select a single relationship. And you can even delete the relationship. And then there are various options to take the screenshot, like taking an image and saving the diagram. So enough of this help guide. So let's click on OK. And here you'll be presented with a version. So you can navigate to the older version as well if you want, but I'd stick to the new version. That's 2.0.0.0. Uh, it has a new functionality which allows you to export the diagrams to draw.io. And it has updated graphics to Azure Coding Architect. Now let's click on OK. So from here, we have an option to load the solutions or load the entities. So if I load the solution, then I have a whole bunch of solutions within my environment. Now, why I'm able to connect to this is because first I need to establish a connection. Now in my XRM toolbox, I've already connected to one of my environments. So that's Kiri Dev environment. Once it is connected, it will load all the solutions which is available within your uh, environment. You can click on load entities and then it will start loading 
all the entities which is which are available within your environment you can even cancel the current request so if i click here i can cancel the current request i can open the diagram so if i click cancel here it's a action cancelled if i click on open diagram then it will allow me to open the erd files once my erd diagram gets created i can save the diagram as an erd file and i can also export to draw.io now as you see over here it has loaded the table so if i select a table over here say account table then if i click on create entity relation diagram then uh, i should be able to create the diagram with regards to that table but uh, the best option what you need to do is just click on load solutions and once you load the solution uh, open any of the solutions so i have this world solution which has a couple of tables referenced within that solution in the bottom uh, over here it says show hidden solutions require reload of solutions and you can also configure number of entities per row so it is 15 i'm not going to make those change what are the fields you need to show custom fields from publisher all fields no fields so let me select all fields and show collapsed entities show data types in entities i'll select that show friendly name in entities so what kind of friendly name you want and what kind of language preferences you have you can uh, select that you can show field names in relationship and you can show name of many to many relationship so i'll just keep show collapsed entities and show data types in entities and this is the green button i'll just click on create entity relation diagram once i do that it will retrieve the schema from the solution as i mentioned to you there were th three tables uh, within the world solution it will start stitching those information and it will render the information in a visually appealing way so it will show you the er diagram and you can do a whole bunch of things from this particular application so this is again a nice tool for an architect to view the information how the schema is scattered within your environment so there is an option to adjust the screen space so i can take this account over here i can take contact over here i can take the world table over here i can even collapse and expand if i do not want to see all the fields so like this i can see the information okay now i can expand the world table over here also i can take an image so if i click on take image what it will do it will uh, take that image so let me save this image and see what it renders so as you see over here it has rendered those er diagram now it will show you the current state so i've expanded the giri world table and that's why it is expanded and rest contact and accounts are not expanded so whatever change you make to the er diagram it will take that screenshot you can zoom and unzoom from here so this is unzooming this is zooming so you can do whole bunch of operations from here so i'm just zooming out you can zoom in and i can uh, say zoom in further and this is how my ER diagram looks like here as you see you can do a right click and then you can take this connector and then you can place it whatever places you want okay so i'm just putting it somewhere here or i'll put it on the top just to remove that overlapping lines okay so you can configure that accordingly now this is coming from the bottom so maybe let me take it from here and then this is how i have removed those lines second thing as you saw over here it is showing me all the columns along with the data type like it's a lookup it's a string it's a date time so what i can do again come here click on the solution and say oh i don't want to see the data type so that's fine click on create entity relation diagram again it will start retrieving the information and then it will start rendering those reports in the form of an er diagram now 
once it retrieves, it will not show the data type. So like this, you can configure various things on the left menu, like show collapsed entities, show data types in entities, show friendly names, show field names, show name of many to many relationships. So those all things can be accomplished using this tool. Now, as you saw that we have made some change, it has refreshed the screen now and it has given us the uh, a nice looking ER diagram. Now the data type is not visible. So this is good. What I can do, I can save this diagram and it will save this doc diagram in an ERD format. So it is called as world solution .erd. So I'll save it in my downloads folder. I can even open the diagram from here by referring to that ERD diagram or I can save the diagram as an ERD file. Okay, so there are multiple options to save all this information. Addition to that, I have an ability to export this to draw.io. So if you see here, draw.io file. So I can save my diagram as a draw.io file and then I can further process this information. So we have an option to save as .erd file, .draw.io file. We can take even a screenshot and then this is how the solution will shape up. Now, if I click on auto zoom over here, so then it will auto zoom according to the best visible position. Or maybe uh, if I just manually zoom it and if you want to put everything in one screen, what you can do, you can collapse the header. So I'm just collapsing the header so that it looks neat and clean. So if your diagram is very complicated, then it is advisable to minimize the header, take this information and then try to put it in a screenshot. Now here again, I told you that you can play around with the connectors. You can play around with a self relationship or one is to many or many is to many relationship so that you can arrange your tables or entities in a correct order, which is readable by your team member. Now we can also load solutions or load an entity. We have seen how to load the solution. Similarly, we can load an entity and then uh, design those ER diagram accordingly. This table will give you all the solutions, version, publisher, and prefix details in a nice uh, tabular format. So that's it, folks. This is all about ER diagram uh, tool, which allows you to create the entity relationship diagram of the Dataverse table. Thanks for watching.